It's a hot one out there today. Woo! I need to roll down the windows a bit. Harrisonburg, Virginia. Weather is nice here. What you doing, Diesel? Enjoying the nice weather? It's nice down here, isn't it? What are you looking at? See a ghost or something? Come here, bud. Come here. This weather is so nice here in Virginia. We're an hour away from where my friends uh, uh, Moses and Colleen live. I think we're about an hour away. I'm not sure exactly where they live. Uh, close by here anyways. And they always talk about how the weather is so nice and they weren't lying. This is summer weather still. Look, we got green leaves on the trees here. That's amazing. Really jealous of their weather. Didn't work out to meet up this time coming past here though. I'm on a very tight schedule. The loads are already late. It's supposed to be, you know, they were expecting it down there a couple of days ago already, but since the truck broke down, I'm trying to push myself to get down there as fast as possible. I want them there, or I want to be there tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get to meet up next time. I mean, I do come through here quite often, so. Maybe next time I can be stranded like around here when Moses isn't on the road as well. And then I can go and hang out with them for the weekend or something. That'd be fun. Right, Diesel? Next time. So I still have 1,180 kilometers to go. I can't quite make it all the way there today on my 11 hours, that's for sure. We're gonna make it as close as possible and we'll do the rest tomorrow. They should be waiting for me there. And now I have a reload scheduled out of uh, Palmetto, Georgia, I think. It's just a trailer switch, but there's a loaded trailer there waiting for me and that's gonna take me home. So everything is working out. I'm looking forward to being able to start pointing my nose home soon, as soon as tomorrow.
Diesel. Man, we're gonna grab some go-go juice, man. Then I'm gonna grab a shower. I'm gonna grab some food. We're gonna go for a walk. Yeah. It's gonna be great. We need to take our half hour break here. About halfway through our day. Uh, not quite halfway, we still got a long way to go. Ooh, 883 kilometers, yeah, that's uh, about nine hours of driving. We're not gonna, like I said, not gonna quite make it there tonight. We're gonna be there tomorrow afternoon. I called them, they know I'm coming. And uh, we'll deal with that tomorrow. And then I go and just switch trailers and head home as fast as this girl will take me, right, Diesel? We got lots to do at home. You got to chase Chevy around the yard. All kinds of gunk in your eyes again, man. There you go. Oh, such a handsome man. Look at you. Woo! Make all the girls go crazy, man. I hope this guy, like, doesn't roll back into me. This, These pumps are sort of on the uphill here. And if he releases his brakes and isn't careful, he's gonna roll right back into me. I left quite a bit of space there, but the lineups are pretty long. There's people behind me as well. Guess we'll see what happens. Well, hopefully he'll uh, hopefully he'll be careful. It's t-shirt weather out here. Look at this. Look at these leaves still up here. I don't know. Every time I come here, it never gets old. It's still summer down here. It's amazing. There's quite a few trucks here. This is what I mean, out in this part of the country, you sort of have to build everything into the hills. So you got one level of parking up there, one level of parking down here. It's always Interesting, must be a little more expensive to to build things here than out on the prairies where it's just flat land. That sun goes down quick. Went in there to grab a coffee and some of these tornado thingies or tornado, whatever you guys call them. They're delicious is what I call them. Looks like the rest of the day is gonna be at night. That's okay, at least the weather is nice down here. I think it was about 19 Celsius when I left the truck. Not bad for November 4th, are we on or are we on? No, we're on November 5th now, right? Not bad. I will soak in all of this nice weather while I can. I have a feeling when I get home, it's uh, going to be a lot colder than when we left. Then again, when we left Manitoba, there was snow on the ground. And I think since then, all the snow's melted. But don't let that fool you. There's more coming. You have 7 hours and 39 minutes of remaining drive time. All right, and we're gonna try to use up every single one of those minutes. Let's see how far we get. Where are we now? We just got into North Carolina. We just came down that hill where you're overlooking the valley. Where's my phone? My phone in my pocket? I had my phone with me the whole time. That's good, that's good. Usually I forget it. Let's see, we are dun, 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 in, who knows? Just south of Fancy Gap. That's what they that's what they call it. Fancy Gap. <laughs> Trying to get the address here. Okay, if I click on the loves that I'm at. Where does what does the town say? It says I got like four bars of LTE service here, but it acts like I'm on dial-up. So we are on Old Piper's Gap Road, Lambsburg, Virginia. Lamb, like sheep. Lambsburg. Virginia. Everything's a berg out here. You notice that? This berg, that berg. Lots of bergs.
course there's open but I got the bypass <laughs> not today truck stop south of Macon, Georgia. Hoping to find some parking here. I'm not too sure what truck stop this is. It was on Trucker Path app. Looks a little sketchy, but not too bad. There's plenty of parking here. That was good because everything else is full. It's 1.30 in the morning. I'll take it. Diesel, we found a spot here. Plenty of parking. Again, thank God for the Trucker Path app. Not an ad. I'm just uh, twice in a tw two nights in a row now that it's found me a parking spot. Plenty of parking here at this place. I mean, it's not a Flying J or a uh, Pilot, that's for sure. Doesn't look very fancy. Not as well lit, but uh, this isn't like what I'm used to. So I'm fine parking here. Uh, so I just got to make sure that I'm straight. I don't really feel like I'm straight. I don't know if you can see it or not. I feel like I'm kind of pointed that way a little bit. I got to get out here and take a look. See how straight we are. I'm going to do the walk around anyways. Whew. I had to straighten out a little bit. I was crooked. I was actually pretty crooked. Like very crooked. And when I park, I have to be straight, otherwise I won't get any sleep. <laughs> I'll be thinking about it all night. I'm so crooked. So I straightened myself out. But it smells like Georgia out here, you know? You know how when I was in British Columbia, I, I told you that uh, you could blindfold me and you know fly me around for a bit, drop me in British Columbia, and I'll tell you exactly where I am. I'll tell you I'm in British Columbia because of the smell. It smells like a big lumber mill. It's the same thing with Georgia, except Georgia has that, uh, that Georgia pine smell. You could blindfold me, take me in a helicopter, spin me in circles, and drop me in the middle of Georgia. I'll take one sniff. Like, those are Georgia pines. It smells like Georgia. All right, Ethan, what do you think? What do you think, buddy? So that's that. Say fini. El Completo. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>